All right, so the next type of eye that we're gonna do is gonna be more of a sculpted eye. And for that, we're gonna use DynaMesh. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the edge of the cornea, and then we're gonna select this shape right here, and we're gonna push it in. Okay, so we're back in ZBrush, and I'm gonna use the same sphere that I used before, and I'm gonna go sideways first, and I'm gonna bring my wireframe, and I wanna select an area where this edge of the cornea is gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask all of this right here, this right here, then I'm gonna select this right here. So there's our strip. So I'm gonna go Shift F. And now with my transpose tool, so I'm gonna go from this edge right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it in on a side view like this. Okay, I'm gonna hit F. And there's the edge of our cornea. I am going to clear my mask. And what I wanna do is I wanna smooth this right here. All right, so I can hold shift and go all the way around and we will get that indentation that we saw in the David's eye, like so. And now what we're gonna do is I'm going to paint that little shape using my masking tools, but I have to go into DynaMesh and I want a high resolution, 512, go shift F, get rid of the uh, polyframe. I'm going to zoom in into our iris and I'm gonna select the area that's gonna be black right here like this. And notice that we have a really good circle. So I'm gonna double check with my reference. All right, so if you look at the proportions, if this was the center of the eye, this edge right here is halfway between the center and the edge of the iris. So if this is the center, I'm pretty much there. Okay, I could go a little bit bigger, so control, and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Perfect. Now, we need to create that little V edge on the top. And for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to center my geometry, and I'm gonna hold control for the masking, and I'm gonna click on my brushes, and I'm gonna switch to the mask curve. And the way that the mask curve works is like, if I hold control and do a click and drag, whatever is on the side of the gradiated will be masked and whatever is on the opposite side will not be masked. Now, if we hold Alt, it's gonna do the opposite of mask, it's going to unmask. So if I go Control, and I drag from here to here, if I hold Alt, I'm gonna be able to create a curve. So this is how we're gonna do the curve part, right? So now I have to hold Alt to unmask the top. So as soon as I let go, What's gonna do, anything that's above on the gradient side, because I held Alt, which is you know, the opposite, so the opposite of, um, of masking is unmasking, anything above the gradation, and the gradient edge will be unmasked. And you can tell uh, what the unmasking is because the dotted line turns white. So if I look at our reference, right, it's that curve on the top. Now I'm gonna do the wedge. And the way that, that I'm gonna do the wedge is the same way. I'm gonna hold Control. I'm gonna click and drag right here, but then I'm gonna hold Alt, click on it once so I can get a curve. And then I'm gonna create my wedge. Now, once you do this, you can hold the space bar and you can move your selection whichever way you want it. So I'm gonna go right here, and now I'm gonna hold Alt so it becomes, instead of a masking, an unmasking. There it is. If I wanna make my corners rounder, I could go to the pen tool, so the mask pen. I'm going to reduce the size of my tool, and I'm gonna hold Alt, and I'm gonna run off those edges like so. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the opposite by holding Control and then clicking on my canvas. So everything but that shape is mask. And with the transpose tool, I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna move it inwards. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hide all of this geometry. I'm gonna click on double so I can see what's going on the opposite side. So shift control, and I'm gonna drag, and I'm gonna hold alt. Yeah. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften this part right here. Because if we look at our reference, it's rounded. So I'm going to soften all of this right here. And especially soften these corners, like so. Okay, and I'm going to clear my mask. Control, drag. I'm going to bring the entire geometry. And I'm going to do a very basic smoothing. Let's bring in the whole eye. Let's compare it to our reference. Pretty close. 